All right, so you've downloaded and extracted your PSP ROMs. And now you're here with all the numbered files. You're ready to extract it one more time to get that ISO, and then bam, data error. If you're getting this issue and want to resolve it, stay tuned. A little less than three and a half minutes, and we'll get this solved. Now, I've noticed with MU Paradise, the ROMs always do this for PSP. At the bottom, those are from Cool ROM and Love ROM. They come ready to go ISOs. Whether you're using 7-Zip or WinRAR, whatever, extract here. So I'm going to take a few seconds. Now you have this folder. Move this folder over the desktop. I'll show you a couple different ways and a couple different issues that you'll get if you don't do it this way. But move it to the desktop and open that up. Right here you got some more numbered files. You're going to look for the RAR, the .RAR, 7-zip. Open that archive or if you're using WinRAR, same thing. Just open it up, extract it, whatever it says. Now, right there you have the ISO. You're going to move it over to whatever folder you're using, whatever you keep your ISOs at, so you can have a nice, neat, organized folder. Bam. That's all you got to do. Right there, and it's done. Open up that folder just to show you. Right here at the bottom, MX versus A, ATV ISO. Now, say if I was this open archive right here, which is just fine. If I didn't move this folder to the desktop and all I did was open it up, Here, we got that same thing we've seen earlier, those numbered files. Scroll down to the bottom. Sometimes the RAR is not even there. This time there is. That RAR, you're going to click that right there. Notice all it says is open. Well, that ain't going to work. You have no extraction option right there. That's one of the main issues. You have to move that folder out. I don't know why MU Paradise with PSP ROMs do this. I'm going to go ahead and delete this off the desktop where I moved it earlier. Now I'm going to move this over one more time just to show you the same extraction we just did wouldn't work, but by moving it to the desktop, it will work. So now we scroll down. There's that .rar file, 7-zip. It allows you to open it right there. Another issue is normally on any other ROM, you would just pick a number, random number. Here I picked the 01. Oh, there's our ISO. We move it over, got hit with that data error. That's the biggest one is because almost every system's ROM, you can pick any number you want, and it'll compile them all together and work. For some reason, MU Paradise PSPs will not work this way. Go back to the RAR, extract it, ISO, works every time. Just fast forward this a little bit. Just move to the desktop because I already have one in my folder. Right there, type ISO file. Now all you're going to do, plug your PSP in. On your left side of the menu, you're going to click USB connection. And just slide it right over into the ISO folder. The folder has to be named ISO. You don't put it under game folder like you do your other emulators and your old system ROMs. Because you're not emulating this, so you put it directly into the ISO folder. And obviously, if you're looking at this video and you're already downloading ROMs, you have a hacked PSP. But if not, this only works for custom firmware. Thanks for watching.